Look, if anybody... Holy f***! What the sh- TikTok. A woman is renting an Airbnb when her previous guests say that they heard an unexplained ticking all night long. Ticking all night long. Ticking. Ticking. I don't have a clock in here. I looked all over. So she goes to the house to investigate. This is what she finds. Girlfriend. So I'm heading up into the attic. Why? I don't know. It hurts ticking. So I gotta go and see. You're coming with me in case I die. Here we go. Paint. Stuff. Oh, suitcases. Stop! Stop! No! Well, this thing's unplugged. And it ain't working. Oh, this thing is old. Holy sheesh, man. Holy sheesh. All right, so I found the ticking. Okay, so I just wondered, like, does this look like a place that it... Holy I just got the goosebumps. Like you wouldn't believe. Holy... In this moment, she seems to be interrupted by an unseen force. And some viewers say that they can hear a voice just as she stops talking. Does this look like a place that it... Does this look like a place that it... Holy I just got... The goosebumps. Like you wouldn't believe. Holy. This is somebody's home. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I want that clock. Do you think if I bring that clock home with me, Ghosty's coming? Unwelcome guests. A woman is home alone when she begins to become paranoid, stating that the fire alarms are chirping, but they don't have any batteries. This is quite normal, as some smoke detectors are wired into the ceiling and don't require batteries. However, the following events aren't quite as easily explainable. Nobody, nobody, nothing. Oh, did you hear that beep? That was pretty loud that time. Nobody behind my door. See, this is the smoke alarm that I'm talking about. There's one right there. But they do it all through the house, and they all do it, and not one of them have batteries in them. You can see, because there's not even a red light, the battery. But it'll do that beep, and I know when it's doing it, I've got ghosts or something going on. But anyway, nobody there. Go into my bathroom. Oh, that's me. I want to be see me. I look bad. Bathroom. Nobody there. There is nothing. Now, okay. Do you hear that? My TV just came on. Oh, and the alarm just went off again. Look, do you see this? There is nobody in this house. The TV just came on. Holy crap. I'm going to reach down and turn it off. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything. Anything. you got to be kidding me. Does everybody see that? The light. Do you see that? Okay. I'm going to show you that there is nobody. There is nobody in this house. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody at all, I'm going to turn it off. It was even up. Look, if anybody... Holy oh, What the f***? Oh, my God. Okay, did that door... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Okay, I don't get scared very often. Oh, that just freaks me out. Okay, let's walk back in there. What the hell? Oh my God, hold on. Holy shit. There was a rock in front of that door. Look, and there is nothing. There is no strings. There is nothing. Look. Prove this. Look, there is nothing. Nothing. I can't even open it. The rock has moved. I am not losing my mind. What the hell? There is nobody in here. Look, there is nobody anywhere. I just went through here. I'll show you every room again. Look. I'm going to put this rock back Hold on. His eyes. A man is enjoying his YouTube video when he notices something strange. Hey. And I just want y'all to pay attention to see if y'all catch what I catch. This is the title of the video right quick. Just so y'all can see. Watch his eyes right now. His eyes are fine, right? Yeah. Here it is right here. Right after this. So his eyes are falling and had another zoom in. Here goes another zoom in from the same angle. Watch this. Like, hold up. Like... It's exactly, it's actually exactly 55 seconds. Bruh, there it is, right? Can you see the right eye? Correct itself? I just want you to look at KSI's face and look at his face right quick, but I can't like see this. Right? Upon examining this closely, it's obvious that this is not a glare. The question is, what's going on? Peekaboo. A TikTok user by the name of Haley Hall uploaded this picture on December 8th, 2023. The original captions stated, My grandma took this picture of her cousin years ago, and allegedly, they would later find out that their house was haunted. According to Haley, their neighbor told them that a little boy had unalived his baby sister on accident many years ago in the home. However, there's no telling if this is true. This could easily be simply a doll buried underneath the items in the background, but it's somehow still just as creepy. Nocturnal Visitor In various cultures, owls are associated with the supernatural, and they're sometimes interpreted as a bridge between the mortal world and the unknown. Many Native American tribes view owls as guardians of sacred knowledge or as beings with a connection to the spirit world. In European folklore, owls are sometimes associated with witchcraft and magic, often seen as companions of witches. The user Fosbo on TikTok uploaded this video on December 9th, 2023, claiming that this owl is not at all what it seems to be. So like three weeks ago, this thing showed up at my window it took a flash. There's no eye. There's no screen. There's no uh, eye shine. Um, and then it turned pink and disappeared. So last night, <sighs> I get a knock on my window. This window. I pull up the blinds, and it's. I'm sitting right on my ledge looking at me and it's huge it's like three feet tall 
It's massive. And I go to pull my phone out. It sees me pulling my phone out, and it jumps away to the lead, the wire. <clears throat> and what it does from there is it jumps in the air and stays in the air. It doesn't move. It just stays there. I take a couple shots of it. And then, after it disappeared, these lights show up. Insane. Cabin in the woods. It's honestly not often that I think a video is authentic, and that includes 99% of the videos that I share. However, what you're about to see is a series of five videos uploaded by a woman named It's Not Chelsea on TikTok. The videos are documenting a very strange experience that her and her friends had while staying at a very ominous location, a cabin somewhere in the woods of an unknown state. Okay, so my friends and I got this cabin it's in the middle of the woods, and we got it as like a little vacation for us for the week. And there's some weird things that are happening. So this is the first bathroom. This this shower, I was there for. I was in a different room, but she was there. Yeah. So we were watching a movie in the in the room right here, and this shower turns on, and we hear it like on full blast, just like water coming out of it. And then our friend walks in here to try and turn it, like see what's going on. And as soon as she comes in the door, it just stops. Okay, so now we're in my room, and right right here on the ground, in the middle of the night, five o'clock in the morning, and I hear scratching coming from under the floor. Okay, here's the worst part. I woke up with this. And these, like, tell me that's not a coincidence. So we're staying here for six more nights. I don't have a lot of time, but I'll keep you updated. It's apparent by this first video that this is not your typical Casper the Friendly Ghost. And as the nights proceed, it becomes very obvious that whatever is in this cabin is anything but a welcoming presence. Okay, so one of our friends came and sat down on this chair right here and it had this scratch, which was not there. It wasn't there. The, the night before that or like earlier that day. So it was kind of sketch. And then another really scary thing happened. Oh, so I came out here this morning and like our door was cracked open and I peeked outside to see like if someone like went to their cars, but no one was out there. And then I realized that everyone was still asleep in their rooms and our door was shut and locked the night before. I'll keep y'all updated. Part three coming whenever. Haunted cabin part three. So last night we set up cameras and we used that motion detecting app presence to record everything because we didn't want a five hour video. So Taylor had her phone in our room and she got this video. So just a little bit after that, my friend's alarm started going off in her room, like the alarm on the alarm clock. And we got a video of that. So both of those happened around like five o'clock in the morning. So then Taylor wakes up and she has this. She has this big bruise on her knee. My scratches are actually just starting to heal and they don't burn anymore. So there are four of us. One of us is still sleeping, but we are gonna go live later. So if we're still alive, we'll, we'll update you later. It is now their fourth night in the cabin when Chelsea's two friends are staying in their room where she first received her scratches, when one of them hears something that would make their heart sink. So Taylor and I went to bed around midnight last night and Kaya and Haley were gonna do the live stream at three o'clock when something like really weird started happening. Haley and I were watching a movie in the same room where Chelsea got the scratches from on the first night. And I started falling asleep, but then Haley woke me up and was like, I don't wanna sleep in here. I just heard someone like, she was like, I heard, think I heard someone running outside and knocking on like the walls. So then I was awake for a little while. We went to a different room and I started hearing it too. And Haley did like a sleep recorder. And so we'll show you that now. So this happened at 623 and all of us were sleeping at this point. 
And then this next one happened also, but none of us woke up till 11, so we were all still sleeping. So we only are staying here for two more nights, but we'll keep you updated. Nothing quite as frightening for a group of young girls staying alone in a cabin than to hear footsteps from an unknown source. For those who have experienced an unknown presence, it's often common for them to smell disembodied perfume or cologne. And it's also not uncommon for a truly evil presence to be coupled with the smell of death. Okay, so all of us were just in the kitchen when we started smelling something really bad and we really can't figure out where it's coming from. Like all four of us checked and looked and see if we could smell anything from any specific area and it's just generally just in the kitchen like we can't figure out any place like we check the trash can the fridge ev anything and there's no specific place that it's coming from it kind of smells like a mouse like ran under the fridge and then died and it's just been chilling um taylor checked like behind the fridge and we looked under it like as far as we could see and there was nothing there so can some of you give us like ideas or suggestions of like what we should do or how to get rid of the smell because I've heard bad things about that. Okay everybody, part six. So Taylor and I actually drove home today and Kaya and Haley actually left yesterday night because they thought it was too sketch and they got scared so they went home. So Taylor and I were there alone and at 5.10 in the morning, the alarm in the other room, Haley and Kaya's room, goes off. So we go in there and turn it off, and then 10 minutes later, it goes off again. So then I walk in there and I unplug it, and then about like 45 minutes later, the alarm in our room literally goes off. Like, a third alarm. So we were both just like really confused. So we wake up in the morning, we're packing up, getting ready to go, and then Taylor tells me about this really weird dream that she has. So I had this dream where like there was like this possessed kid and then like I told Chelsea that we had like to go and then um, as we were going this demon like dragged me across the cabin and we're like straight dead serious and now we're